Ready for a mind-blowing tech showdown? Today, we're pitting a standard solid-state relay against our game-changing ultra-low-powered Marvel. But wait, there's more. We're unveiling our exclusive tri-mode feature that's about to revolutionize the industry. Imagine having three relays in one, uh, adapting to your needs on the fly. Our new SSR doesn't just save power, it's a shape-shifting powerhouse. Watch as we demonstrate how it outperforms the competition in energy efficiency, versatility, and pure innovation. Curious about how this could transform your projects? Stay tuned, because in the next 20 seconds, we'll show you exactly why engineers and tech enthusiasts are buzzing about this breakthrough. Get ready to witness the future of relay technology right here, right now. Here is the current solid state relay that you can purchase online, and here is our ultra low powered relay. We have a power supply that is connected to a relay that can control this small fan that is connected to a 110 volt wall outlet. We will then connect our ultra low powered relay to the power supply and fan motor. We also have a few more items on the table, a fault isolation laser, a fiber optic cable, and an infrared chip, which we will discuss later. We are now gonna turn on the power supply to power up the solid state relay, which will turn on the fan motor. You can see the relay has received power by the red indicator and also as the fan motor starts to spin. We currently have three volts going to the relay. This relay controls the on or off state of a connected device by applying or removing the power source. We are now going to reduce the power going to the relay to see at what point does the relay turn off. As we slowly reduce the power going to the relay, you will see that the relay is no longer powered below 1.8 volts. We are going to next reduce the power down to 0.8 volts and connect our ultra low powered relay. In order to be completely transparent, we decided not to edit out the removing of the wires from the first relay and connecting of the ultra relay to the power supply and fan. We thought it was important to see real time the contrast between the two relays. After connecting the fan to the relay, we are now connecting the power supply to the relay. Lastly, we will move the cables out of the way. As you can see, the current voltage setting is 0.8 volts. We will now turn on the power supply. As you can see, the fan motor turns on with the relay only receiving 0.8 volts of power. The lower voltage requirement of our ultra low powered solid state relay is a big advantage over traditional solid state relays on the market. We are now connecting a fiber optic cable to the ultra low powered relay. We are now connecting the fiber optic cable to a laser source. When the relay is exposed to laser light, it will terminate power to the fan motor. The fan motor comes to a stop and will remain power off until the relay is no longer exposed to the laser light from the fiber optic cable. When the laser light is removed from the fiber optic cable. The relay sends power back to the fan motor. Being able to control a relay through a fiber optic cables makes connecting and controlling an external device a breeze. We will now show another example of the tri-mode feature where we will expose the relay to infrared light. We have an infrared chip that we will power up. When the relay is exposed to infrared light, it will terminate power to the fan motor. We are now applying power to the infrared chip and placing the chip in front of the relay. As soon as the relay is exposed to infrared light, you can see the power to the fan motor is immediately terminated. As we point the chip toward the camera, you can see the infrared light emitted from the chip. We will exposing the relay to the infrared light again, and you can see the fan stop spinning. Once the infrared light is removed, the relay sends power back to the fan motor. We will now place the infrared chip in front of the relay again, and this time we will cycle the power on the power supply. As you can see, once the power supply is turned off, the infrared chip is no longer receiving power and the fan motor is turned on by the relay. We will now turn the power source back on which will power the infrared chip to tell the relay to turn off the fan motor. As you can see, our new ultra low powered tri-mode solid state relay is packed with features when compared to the traditional solid state relays on the market. While utilizing only 0.8 volts of power, 
you get a relay that is future proof. You also price the relay to ensure you get loaded features for a low cost. Thank you for watching our ultra low powered tri-mode solid state relays presentation.